Hello and welcome to GXG Aviation. In this video, we will be looking at why an engine failure occurs when an aircraft is in flight and the impact of a single engine failure. What is considered as an engine failure? An engine is said to be failed or inoperative if it is not producing any thrust. This could be because of a flame out in the combustion chamber, which is less severe since a restart attempt can be made on this engine. There are more severe cases such as an engine fire, an engine stall or engine vibrations where restart should not be attempted and the engine is considered to be inoperative or a failed engine. What is the impact of an engine failure? We will consider a twin engine aircraft. In case of a single engine failure during flight, there is an immediate aerodynamic effect which is felt on the aircraft. Since the thrust is produced by only one engine, the aircraft begins to yaw or turn towards one direction. This depends on the speed and the thrust produced by the engine. Because of the yaw, the aircraft will also start to roll towards the failed engine side. This is because on the live engine side, more lift will be produced on the wing when compared to the other wing since it moves faster across the air. To ensure that the aircraft continues flying straight and level, the pilot or the autopilot have to give inputs to the rudder to counter the yaw and to the ailerons to counter the roll. The rudder should be deflected towards the live engine side. This will provide a stabilizing yaw moment on the aircraft and assists in keeping the aircraft straight and prevents further directional change of the aircraft. Similarly, inputs have to be sent to the ailerons to counteract the roll moment created due to the engine failure. So the pilots need to continuously provide inputs and monitor the aircraft's behavior. But from the cockpit, how will the pilots identify a failure on an engine? An engine failure due to foreign object or because of any damage within the engine will be visible from the cabin. Once a damage is observed by any passenger or the cabin crew, it is immediately reported to the cockpit crew. But if the failure is not visible, an engine failure may be identified by different warnings that get triggered in the cockpit. In case of an engine fire, a fire warning is triggered in case of a component failure, other systems associated with the engine will begin to fail. If the autopilot is engaged, there may be large control surface deflections to maintain steady flight. Or if the autopilot is not engaged, the pilots need to give large flight control inputs so that the aircraft continues flying straight and level. There will be no increase or decrease in thrust on that engine. In the cockpit, it is easy to identify an engine failure. Now let's look at some other impacts on an aircraft due to an engine failure. We have already seen the aerodynamic impact on the aircraft due to an engine failure. Because of an engine failure, there will be other secondary failures such as failure of the engine generators which provide electrical power, failure of the hydraulic pumps and the failure of the bleed air supply to the air conditioning system. The APU may be used to supply electrical power and bleed air but the biggest impact is the reduction in the thrust force. So the thrust produced by the live engine should be increased to ensure the aircraft continues flying at a safe altitude. 
depending on when the engine failure occurs, suitable decision has to be taken by the pilots. If the failure occurs during the takeoff roll, depending on the speed of the aircraft when the failure occurred, the pilots may reject the takeoff or continue with the takeoff and immediately land at the same airport or any other suitable airport. If the failure occurs during cruise, the pilots should coordinate with the ATC and divert to a suitable airport where a safe landing can be made. If the failure occurs during the descent or the approach phase, the pilots should ensure that the aircraft is stabilized and land the aircraft safely. That's all for my video on an engine failure. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, do subscribe and you can continue watching some of my other videos as well.